everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a haul for you guys. Yes, darlings. I will be showing you what I have been buying over the past couple of months. Um, I don't believe in doing massive hauls anymore. Um, I'm just trying to budget now and I'm really trying to save and all that kind of stuff. I've been reading this really good book. I've got a copy of it here. This is a book called Rich Dad Poor Dad. I've been reading it over the past um, couple of weeks and it's really great. It talks about financial literacy and financial aperture and all those kinds of things. So it's really made me think about money in a different way. So I'm trying not to spend as much as I used to. Having said that, it was my birthday in January so I did buy a few bits and pieces for myself. So. What I'm going to show you now is what I bought from the end of December up till maybe last week. So first I'm going to start off with some shoes. Everybody that knows me knows that I'm an absolute shoe fiend. So and my, one of my favourite shoe shops is Aldo. Oh, aren't they pretty? So I first saw these in September I believe and I saw them in the Aldo website but they were £85 and I was like I'm not spending £85 on them, no. Um, <laughs> and then I went in and I tried them on and I was like okay I know I want them but I'm not going to buy them, I'm just going to keep my eye on them just in case they go down. And then in their Boxing Day sale they went down, I thought right they have to be in my wardrobe. Just look at this, I love that it's a barely there strap, I love that it's got a black heel so that if I want to wear it on a night out I'm going to last the whole night because sometimes with the stiletto heel it, it, it can get a bit painful towards the end of the night but I know that I can last the whole night in these. And the next pair of shoes I want to talk about are these, these boots, oh my gosh. Do you know what, over the past year or so I would say I've become a real fan of boots like thigh high boots, knee length boots, but I absolutely adore these. I was in Topshop buying myself some Joni jeans just because I needed a new pair and I came across these and these were £19.99 and I was like, okay so I'm having them, like I'm having them, they were in a size 7, they were the last pair, I was like, so you were waiting for me so I had to pick you up. I'd probably wear this with an all black outfit or a white turtleneck and a pair of Joni jeans, a biker jacket and then I would put these on. Um, it's not too late in the year to wear boots, we are in spring but as you've seen over the past few weeks in England it's so unpredictable you can get away with wearing boots practically any time of the year. Um, I love the colour, I love how shiny it is and I like the fact that if I was to wear these out and a drink got spilt on them I could just wipe them off and then they'd be clean. So the next pair of shoes I want to show you guys are these lovely barely there quartz they're about four inches high and i'm comfortable with a four inch heel but i particularly love these because i actually had these in nude i bought the nude pair about two years ago from zara and they are so comfortable i think they're one of my most comfortable pair of heels and i think it's because it's quite wide at the front and it allows um room at the side for your foot so i can have these on all night and my feet will not hurt me at all so I thought I'd buy the black pair because the black pair I think went down to 25 I paid for these and I've worn these once and they give me so much life. The last pair of shoes that I want to talk to you guys about are these shoes that I bought from Reese. Now it looks like there's not much to these shoes but oh my gosh they are so so comfortable and I'm not just saying that either. I have a lot of heels but I didn't have a pair of comfortable black heels that I could wear from morning to evening with a little black dress that is suitable for the day. So I thought to myself let me just get a pair of good comfortable black heels that I can last all day in because to be honest girls and guys if you're watching getting shoes from Misguided or Boohoo or wherever else it's good. Or public desire like it's good the price is cheap but the reality is the shoes are made of plastic and they're going to probably mash up your feet let me just invest in a really really good pair of shoes these are super comfortable because it's got a really strong heel the heel tips are nice and strong as well these are real suede and they've got leather uppers so that it allows your feet to mold to the shoe and your feet are able to breathe properly and then it's got this cut out bit at the side so that your foot actually has some room to move around which I, which is why i think they're so comfortable and now we are onto clothing so continuing with reese i have bought a dress listen guys this dress this dress. <laughs> I looked at myself and I said, damn. <laughs> girl, girl. Much like my shoes, I wanted to invest in some really good 
um, quality classic dresses that I could have in my wardrobe that I could wear to meetings and that would last me about two to three years that I wouldn't have to keep replacing and whilst I really love my $12.99 or $15.99 dresses from Zara sometimes the quality is just not there to be able to hold up or to look professional enough in my opinion so I bought this lovely dress the ribbing on it is so thick and so good and the quality is amazing like I tried this on it literally fits like a glove it's like a second skin um sometimes in reach dresses though I have to size down especially in their ribs and in their knitwear um I am a size 12 in jeans and I would say I'm a size 10 on top but in reese dresses, I go down to an 8 or sometimes if it's really stretchy, I go down to a 6. And I know I'm not a size 6. It's navy and black and then when you have it on, you can kind of see the white a bit better. So it kind of contours to the body and creates this illusion. I also bought this long maxi ribbed navy dress. So this dress has got a deep V which is just the right amount of sexy for this dress. It doesn't take it over the top. It's just right and I love the long sleeve and it's got this really gorgeous split at the side i will try this on so you can have a look and see what it looks like but if you want your man to be like damn girl you need this dress in your life and i tried it on i was like i'm getting this like by force i am getting this dress now we are on to zara one thing i love about zara is that they do really really amazing knitwear for really good prices um so i picked up this lovely turtleneck and I'm obsessed with this shape. So I bought this in white. I bought it in green as well. And then I also bought it in black. This is a grey shirt dress that I bought in the sale. And this was this was $9.99. So a bargain. I picked this up and I tried it on. And usually I don't go for things like this when I go into Zara. I don't try on colours like this. But I like this knot in the front, it has this Grecian vibe about it and when I tried it on it looked very very nice. I bought this in a medium and it's quite long. So I thought this would look really really good with a pair of thigh high boots and maybe a crossbody bag. And next we have this red dress. Do you know what guys, I'm quite a fan of red, this is what you, I would kind of wear on date night or a date to the cinema or um, an evening meal for someone's birthday with some heels but nevertheless it's a really really nice dress if you can't get the one from Reese this one is fine um, I love these buttons down the front and last but not least I have some pieces that I actually picked up from the bloggers marketplace which was an event that was run by my friend Brini and the event was amazing and whilst I was there I picked up a few bits and pieces and I picked up some pieces from Shirley, Shirley B. Eniang, um, everyone that knows me knows that she's my favourite YouTuber, she's actually the reason I started making YouTube videos so when I was there I had the pleasure of meeting her, she's so lovely and I bought some items from her wardrobe and I specifically bought this gorgeous dress and this darlings is fabulous when it's on and it was only five pounds I couldn't believe she was selling it for five pounds but I went to try it on because my boyfriend came with me and no would have a lie guys I put this on and I came out and it and he just went <laughs> this is a date night dress for sure it's lovely I love the cage detail at the top I like that it's quite short, so I would put um, a pair of heels on with this and maybe a little jacket. Next we have another red dress in the midst, yes we do. Um, I also again picked this up from Shirley's wardrobe and um, this dress is very long, I'm just going to stand up, look it's very 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 long but it's a maxi dress fit and I absolutely love this but because it is so long I would literally just wear this I wouldn't wear a jacket or anything with it I would wear this I would have a clutch to keep it nice and simple and then I would wear it with a barely bare shoe I have this coat that again I bought from the bloggers marketplace and it was only five pounds and I think for five pounds you cannot go wrong so I was like of course I'm gonna buy that this is a really beautiful trench coat and it's nice and light again perfect for spring perfect for summer perfect with I would wear this with a pair of little Levi shorts and a little tank top and put this over the top 
and then I would just go. I could pair this with heels, I could pair this with Converse, I could pair this with a pair of Chelsea boots. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed the haul. If you did, let me know which items that you like below, which items were your favorite. I will be doing more videos on tutorials on how to make things like shirts or dresses because that is my skill set because I'm a fashion designer and I do styling as well. So stay tuned and I will see you next time. Bye. Mwah.